Ladies and gentlemen, when you leave here tonight and people say to you, well, what was the key to the show? Here's the key. It's America's fastest growing quiz sensation. <laughs> know your current events. Here we go. <laughs> singing along. The guy was actually singing along. Hi, right, you want to play? Stand up. What's your name? Meredith G. Meredith, where are you from? Santa Barbara, California. Oh, is that beautiful there in Santa Barbara? It's gorgeous. Yeah, were you born and raised in the Golden State? Yes. What do you do in Santa Barbara? I work for the Four Seasons Hotel. Oh, good gig. Excellent gig. <laughs> very, very, good. very nice. How long have you been with the Four Seasons? Just since June. Uh, and you know what they do? They move you around from one location to another. Are you excited exactly, about that? Because yes. you could go to some very exotic worldwide paradise. That's lovely what location. I'm hoping. Oh, good for you. And what, what are you, like a concierge, that kind of thing? I'm a, sometimes a night manager, mm -hmm. so I kind of do a whole mm -hmm. bunch of everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if I were allowed, and I, I would never do this, but if I were allowed to go through to go through your purse, would I find about half a dozen of those little tiny soaps? Yes. <clears throat> They're damn good. They're damn good, I want to tell you that. You look lovely. Very nice. Thank you. I, I think right in front of you, don't look now, it's crocodile dung. Oh. <laughs> I, I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's who that is. Somebody from the outback. It looks like a Bushman, Paul. We got us a Bushman here. Now, uh, when you, what are you in New York for? Is this on business or pleasure? I'm actually here with my mom and my uh -huh. sister. Now, now, now do you, did they put you up at the Four Seasons here? Yes, they oh, did. Oh, this is sweet. Uh, so what about this? And I'm just speaking hypothetically here. I'm just, I'm just making this up, as they say in show business. Uh, what if right after the show, Paul and myself, and maybe even this guy, this is the hypothetical part right here. And you and me and your sister and your mom go back to your, you get a suite, like a mini suite, like a junior the suite? Presidential. Oh! oh Hot damn diggity. <laughs> Sounding better and better, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you're pretty glad you wore your hat today. Oh, yeah. uh, we all go back to the place, the mm -hmm. suite, and we bust open the mini bar. <laughs> oh, you already opened it. <laughs> And a head start on us. Uh, you know, Meredith, it was, uh, uh, was, was it 19 years ago today? I believe it was. What is today's date? Is it the 1st of February today 1st? Today is February 1, yes. February 1, so uh, the February 1st of uh, 1982. Have I got That's, the math yeah, right on this? I believe 1982. Sure. Paul and I uh, began our first uh, very uh, show in late night television. We've been on the air for 19 years. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. We forgot about it. Okay, knock it off. I, and I mentioned it Monday, and then we forgot about it all week, and then Paul and I were upstairs before the show, and it, and it dawned on both of us that this was the big night, so we ran around, and we wanted to have, like, a little presentation, and we wanted to get some flowers. Did we get the flowers? And, and we have somebody with the flowers? Okay, Paul, play some music, and happy anniversary. Bring out the... So beautiful. Thank you so much. Happy anniversary. Thank you for celebrating. Thank you. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. How come I didn't get flowers? <laughs> I, I get them. Okay. All right. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> I think this will be one of our best shows in 19 years, don't you, Paul? Uh, I could feel it already, yeah. yeah. See, we couldn't normally, we'd have like the, the six foot model babes in cheap cocktail dresses bring out the flowers. We just had the Mike and Nancy bring it out. It's pretty hot. It ha it's pretty hot, is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just so excited for you and this job. I think, I think, and I hope you make this okay. your life's work. I'm going to. Yeah, but a lot of wacky stuff goes on in hotels, doesn't it? Very wacky they stuff. Like, well, like what? <laughs> get to take care of uh, people's pets when they decide to go, you know, out for a run uh -huh. or 
I'm in charge if a, a fire happens in the hotel, right, and right. I was a little bit nervous about that. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to say, sure. you know, code one or anything like yeah. that. Well, the first time the fire alarm went off, I screamed over the intercom, code one, oh, come no. on, I got, I got some trouble. And, and sometimes, uh, honeymooners, you get to listen honeymoon at the door? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Call and tell them to be quiet. No! Oh, this is pretty good, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Nancy, was it Nancy? Nancy Meredith. 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 Okay. You got him a little name tag. Uh, know your current events. When we play Know Your Current Events, there are four big ways to win big. You're aware of that, right? Yes. And by the way, what's the key to Know Your Current Events? Keep up with current events. Uh, Paul? It's America's fastest growing no, Ameri quiz sensation. Exactly. That's right. America's fastest growing quiz sensation. I love it. Yeah. I know all about your job. You could know a little something about my job. Would it kill you? I'll let you in on a little secret. I've, I've, uh, I've, uh, I've uh, not stayed at the Four Seasons, but I've <clears throat> certainly been to the Four Seasons. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> you know what I'm driving at, Paul? With, with whom? I can't go in. Come on. Ah, yeah. come on. Give nah, us a hint. Hey, you're killing me. Give nah, us a come hint. on. Did she have to get dropped off at the Playboy Mansion afterwards? <laughs> that's all I want to know. I, I only have one story about the Playboy Mansion, and that, <laughs> that's, that's, all, that's all I got. We had, to, we had to drop a girl off at the mansion. It's, I'm sorry you brought that up. I heard that. In 19 years, I got one story involved. <laughs> all right, Meredith, there are four big ways to win big. Uh, know your current events? Bing. Know your cuts of meat? Bing. Know your George W. Bush facial expressions? Bing. <laughs> know your Survivor Australian Outback castaways who have been banished as of Thursday, February 1st at 4.30 p.m. There you are. Think it over. Is this mom and your sister here? Yeah. Hi, Hi, who are you? Hi, I'm Summer. Sum so, Summer, Paul. We have Summer here. Yeah. Hi, Summer. Yeah. Hi, Paul. Hi, nice to see you. Summer arrived a little early this oh, year. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Mom? All right. Have you selected a category? Oh, hmm. How about know your current events? No. Know your cuts of meat. That's where you want to be. Know your cuts of meat. Here we go. Go, 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 uh, when we play Know Your Cuts of Meat, there are how many meat categories? There are four or five, Paul? I believe there are five. There's beef, there's pork, there's lamb, there's, um, um, what am I leaving out here? Veal. Veal, yeah, yeah sure. And, and then... My favorite. Right. Variety meat. Variety meats, okay. <laughs> so I'll give you a, a question about the meat. Look at the thing there, and here we go. What is this cut of meat, Meredith? Think it over. It's in the veal category. What is this cut of meat? Look at that. Boy, it looks tasty, doesn't it? What is that? Shoulder blade steak. Veal, veal what now? Veal shoulder blade steak. Exactly right. Congratulations. <laughs> Very good. You're a lovely woman. It's nice meeting you. Uh, Thank you and I like too. your red coat. You look very, uh, very you. festive. Good to have you with us. How long are you in town? Till tomorrow. There you go. Um, all right, here we go. You want to go again? What is this yes. cut of meat right there? Take a look. Oh, look at that. What is that? That's beef. We're in the beef category. And what is that? Beef for stew. It's beef for stew, beef ladies and gentlemen. For stew. There you go. Since you like the meat, we're going to send you and your family to Ben Benson's of a steakhouse here in New York City and load up on uh, beef and stuff. And here is a, a CD of music from uh, the Late Show here at CBS. Here, here, wait a minute. If we give you the night off. All right, now look. Here we got. Because you selected the category, I know your cuts of meat. We're going to give you an assortment. Look at that beautiful meat there. From pound for pound, the finest butcher Delicious. shop in the world. Low bells up on Madison Avenue. There you go. Enjoy that meat. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. Thanks, Jeff. Hey, let's play one real quick, all right? What's your name, sir? My name's David. Well, David, where are you from, David? I'm from Clayton, Georgia. Clayton, Georgia, and you have your hat on here inside. I think you're the only one wearing a hat in. There's <laughs> one guy back there. What do you do?